Hey guys, it's Erica, and I recently went to North Carolina to visit my sister who was in the army. So when I was there, I thought I would fill, film a bunch of nursery tours, as many as I could. So I think I got about four, and Lowe's is one of them, but there's two other garden centers and then one orchid nursery. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't have a chance to film the intro and outro there, so I decided to just sit in my car and then do it at home. But yeah, I hope you like the video. So it's kind of a little bit empty, but I just wanted to show you these flowers because <laughs> look how pretty they are. What? I wonder what this is called. Hibiscus. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. We're going to house plants now. So here we have some alocasias. Probably an odora. And it is $39.98. Oh wow. There's kind of a lot of these growing around like just as plants that live here. And then these golden pothos are $14.98. Oh, these are my favorite kind of marble queens. These are also $14.98. Look how pretty the variegation is. If you put these under grow lights though, the variegation will turn yellow and it won't be white anymore. There's more alocasias. And then I think these look like ponytail palms, but they don't have... Yeah, this is a ponytail palm for $39.98, but the base isn't really showing. Okay, let's see what else. There's a Monstera here. There's a lot of, I guess, this Lowe's brand that I've never seen before. And their stuff is $39.98. That's kind of a lot for this Monstera. It's really small. If this fiddly fig is $39.98. Yep, it is. <laughs> These are also really small to be that much. Oh my goodness. And there's some celloums. I'm gonna guess they're $39.98 also. And they are. Okay. There's also these really big fiddle leaves. Fiddle leaf figs with some pothos down here. These are 144. Okay. Here are some more indoors. This is a different box here for $9.98, which is a lot. And this brand, man. I think this is Lowe's brand, maybe. But it's kind of expensive. And I'm guessing it's that much because of the pots. But they have snake plants, ferns, um, more pothos, divinbachia, and some ZZs, which are $14.98 also. I feel like that's a regular amount for ZZs. And then anthuriums. These are really pretty. I, I like this color leaf. It has nice staining. And then a really dark snake plant. And also this random jumble of plants. Snake plant, halicacia, and then a marble queen. That's a weird mix. $39.98. Oh, this big ZZ plant is $40. That's like a regular price for this size also. There's more up here. And there's also a mix of <laughs> Macoyanas and stink plants, which I personally don't think is a good mix because these need a lot of water and these do not need as much water as these by any means. So that's kind of a weird mix going on. There's some medallions, macoyanas. That's very strange. But these are $79.98. And then really big snake plants for $39.98. Which I think that's like a regular price as well. Let's see what they have inside. So here we are. Sorry, the door is going to be opening and closing. But there are some African violets. These are really big. How much are they? Hmm, I don't know how much they are, but these are big and I really like these white ones, the purple edging. And there's some clustery ones. These are some really light colored leaves. They're really pretty. I love African violets. A snake plant. Let's see if it's the lows. No, this is. House patio, $11.98. Hmm, 
and then there's some marginatas here, dracaenas. And these are the pinkish colored ones. These are $11.98. And they're kind of taller than normal. So those are these are kind of big. And there are a bunch of ferns that are kind of crispy. This is a curly fern. I don't know what that is. And a fuzzy. That looks like a kind of Chattascantia. This looks like an elephant plant. Yeah, it's an elephant bush, rainbow elephant bush. That's really pretty, it's so colorful. 1080. If you come to Lowe's, I highly recommend checking out their um, clearance rack. There's this friendship plant that I think would be a good deal on clearance. Usually their clearance rack, rack is half off, or sometimes they'll just ring it up for a dollar if they're really nice. And you can see there's baby succulents on here. So if you wanted one of these succulents, you could just buy this one. And you see there's babies growing. Also an elephant bush, I feel like that would be really easy to care for. There is a, look, this would be $2. And there's little babies growing on there. This is a um, bear paw. I don't know how easy that would be to revive though. I don't think it would be the easiest to revive. So maybe not a bear paw, but these succulents, yes. Phalaenopsis orchid. This is still $10 on clearance though, which is a lot, so I don't think that's a good deal. I think this is an Aglionema, but I don't think I've ever seen this kind of Aglionema anywhere before. So this is really cool, like white variegation. That's really nice. Some crotons, some more snake plants down here. And crotons, dracaenas, a peace lily, wick and grow. So I guess this one is a self-watering. And um, peace lilies are really good for putting in self-watering pots or just having a self-watering mechanism because they really love water. Over here we have another Diffenbachia for $7.98. Some smaller plants down here. Olympia false aurelia. Usually exotic angels are sold at Walmart. So this is kind of funky to see here. But they have some more different kinds of crotons and a polka dot plant here for $3.98. You wanna be careful about the plants that come with the um, the wick because sometimes they take up too much water and it's just not not the best you can see these plants aren't really doing well and it's probably because they're getting too much water but here is a photonia and another polka dot plant it's a little bit empty-ish over here is a baby fiddle leaf this is so cute i don't know how much it is though it looks like it was dropped <laughs> a couple of times because its roots have like no soil in them. This is $17.98. And also these guys with the glued down rocks. Oh, and the lucky bamboo. This is just one little stem that's so cute. But it's $2.98. I think these are sago palms. know how much they are but they're also glued down which I think I think that they should be taken out and they'll do better and then they just have their big plants sink plants crotons fiddle leaf face oh let's see how much this one is because it doesn't have that pot uh, I don't know how much but there's kind of a lot of dead leaves down here oh and really pretty aglionema <laughs> Let me see how much this one is. This one is $26.98. $27 for this giant thing. That sounds that sounds pretty reasonable to me. There's another one over here too. It's kind of a lot of them actually. Some 
ponytails for $21.98. I think that's really good for this size. There's some more piece ladies. These are smaller for $12.98. And I think that's about it. Bromeliads. $9.98. Don't know how much this easy plan is, but it looks really nice. So this is the first thing that I saw when I walked up. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think these are my favorite ones. These are $34.99. Wow, these are so pretty. I love them. Okay, we can go inside now. We're just gonna go to the house plants. See what they got. So far they have so many beautiful plants. Look at this bird of paradise for oh $69.99 though. That's expensive. In North Carolina, they have a bunch of caladiums, like everywhere. It's kind of insane. Caladiums, colocasias, alocasias. Oh, look at these. <gasps> See, they have so many pretty ones. These are $29.99. Those are so pretty. They have way more colors than I see at home. Over here, they have the pothos. There's just some enjoys. $5.99, um, golden jade, some philodendrons, this is a Brazil philodendron, $5.99, and then just a regular green one for $14.99, so cute, and look over here, Hylia spruciana, these are adorable, I don't think I've seen these, where I live. There's just so many cool different plants and some Hoyas. These are the Crimson Queens, $12.99. This looks like a Pubacalyx maybe, also $12.99. I don't know what this one is. And it doesn't say just house plant. Hmm. I think this one, I'll, I'll put the name of what I think they are. Cause I'm not the best with Hoya names. It is very hot and humid in here. Let me tell you, there's some Fetonias. They look a little bit thirsty. Uh, $7.99. And some Marble Queens. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous Audrey. This thing is huge, so beautiful. And let's look for the price. $189.99. And there's also Fiddle Leaf Fig here for the same price. These look like Crown of Thorns. Some purple fuzzies for $3.99. Are these crown of thorns? It's a terrarium plant? I'm not sure. Super cute. Super cute. Oh, I just love this caladium. So pretty. $30. $29.99. Over here is an Alpine Junior, which is my favorite Schaeffler at the moment. This is $19.99. I really like the size of this. It's not too big, not too small. It's like perfect. There's a money tree over here. It comes in a little pot. It looks like... Oh, I guess it's getting watered right now. There's a Syngonium. This place is so big and so pretty. And it's really clean and... Ah, a Prince of Orange. Oh my gosh. I just killed my baby Prince of Orange. So this one's a lot bigger. But this one is $20, which I think is a really good price. I have the urge to buy this, but it's really big. So that's what's stopping me. Here's a baby Deliciosa for $20. A Deliciosa, oh, a bigger one for $50. And look at this beautiful narrow form Adansonii. It's crawling up here. Look at those 
aerial roots. They're clinging on. This is how I want my plant to cling on. These aerial roots are perfectly on there. And this is $40, which I think is a good price. It's big, it's beautifully clinged on. Oh my goodness, that is great. That is just great. That's what I like to see. Here is a Aglionema. $39.99. This looks like a Hylia, an aluminum plant. Another Adansonii. These are just so beautiful. Some Talansias. Take a look at this, this little wall of plants going on here. They have, look at the size of these leaves. This is really big. They got begonias on here, ferns, staghorn ferns, and they're all on here. That is so cool. Over here are some monkey cups. These look different than the ones, well actually I don't know. I'm not too sure, but they're $30 each. They're pretty, really big actually. ZZs are 25 and even bigger ZZs. The bigger ones are 80 Oh, look how big this one is. Wow. And then we're coming up here onto the fern, I mean, sorry, ivy section, which I don't think we're gonna get into right now. But look at these beautiful begonias. Hanging up here, you can see these very large spider plants in the background. So nice here. Oh my gosh, look at these polka dot plants. They have all the flavors that you could want. Just gotta mix and match them. And also a ton of caladiums, more caladiums even. So many beautiful colors. Here are the Dracaenas. And there's a pink syngonium here for 15. A Celloum for $39.99. It's pretty um, big, pretty large. And I think that just about covers the house plants in Amazon, Amazonica, $17.99. There's a little bit of cacti here. So cute. I believe this is an orchid cactus. Look how dark these leaves are. Oh my goodness. So I came up and I see these eucalyptus. This isn't the same eucalyptus that I have. This is a oh male. This is $160. It's more upright and structured. Structured leaves. It's still really pretty though. These garden centers are so big and beautiful. So here's a regular Adansonia. This is huge. This is $78. It's on this stake here. Oh, and there's a Sissus. I'm not sure. Let's see what kind this is. Oh, it's a grape ivy. Sissus rhombifolia, $24.90. This is really big. And there's another really large Prince of Orange. I'm not sure how much it is, but that is very big. It's so pretty, look at these orange leaves. So here are their indoor plants, and these are um, kind of structured, not structured, split up by their light, net, light needs. So these are the low light plants. Look at these beautiful different bakias. This is my favorite one. This is a, I don't remember the name right now, but it's my favorite different bakia. There's so many. These are the Neon Pothos for $18.99. ZZ Plant. 
so many pothos and aglionemas. Look how beautiful this is. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of aglionema. It has this really pretty pink vein down the center. What is this? It doesn't say what it is. That makes me sad. I want to know. It's so pretty. And of course, just the red. Red ones. There's also these really cool ones. This kind of looks like a, uh, um, a Calathea ornata, a little bit. Like an Aglionema version. Look at the variegation on this Domino Peace Lily. That is so gorgeous. Let's get to the base of this plant. Uh, here we go. This is the prettiest variegation I've ever seen on a Peace Lily. $18.99. So beautiful. Some more baby Diffenbachias. And then over here are the Alocasias. The African Mask for oh, $18.99. This one here is really pretty. I don't know what it is. It is not a Calathea, but it's $22. What is this? These are not in the right um, labels, so I guess we'll never know. Some begonia. What is this? This is a monolina primalu. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. This is cool. It comes from that little thing. Very cute. Very beautiful. A bunch of ponytail palms, really big ones. And what are these? Rubber trees for $48 even. This looks like a banana plant, but it looks like a very thirsty banana plant. Dwarf banana, $18.99. There we go. Ooh, they got some rafts here. So I think rafts are becoming very like common. So I live in LA and there's a bunch of these where I live in LA and here, I guess in North Carolina, they also have some in Raleigh, $18.99. There's a, quite a few here and there are some that are branching off quite a bit because these are, these are pretty big. Look at this one. Wow, that's so huge. You could propagate that, make it a more full plant. Some, oh wow, there's some succulents here. These are the tiniest little syngoniums of all time. Oh my goodness. And there's some peppermiglobellas there. These are so tiny and cute. Oh my goodness. Some more peperomias. These are literally like two inches, one inch maybe. Here's some Hoyas, $18.99. These are Crimson Princesses. Along this wall, we have all the organized plants. They look really nice, oh my goodness. Down here, these look like obtusive folios, but I've never ever seen this variegation before. Look how beautiful that is. Wow, there's so many like cool plants here. Some Hartley ferns. And then up here, there are some variegated lipstick plants. Let's see that variegation. Very nice. Some more Syngonians. Oh, look how beautiful and pink these are. I love pink ones. Some more African masks. Sansevieria. Here are some Hindu ropes. I like this size a lot. These are four inch for $8.99. I think that's a pretty good price in my opinion. There's a, quite a few of them. Some more Calathea. I don't know if we've even seen any Calathea, but here are Calathea. And down here, there's some more little rafts. The small ones are 
The Deliciosas are $3.99 for a real, oh, I think that's, the oh, $8.99. I was gonna say, that's a really, really good price. Wow. And I guess these ferns are medium light. Oh, there's a crocodile fern here. Look at this. Well, you can kind of tell why it's called a crocodile fern because of this really cool leaf pattern. This is $18.99. Isn't that cool? I haven't, I've only seen this once in LA. Sahoya Crimson Princess here for $18.99. These are some philodendrons. This looks like a, uh, I can't remember, Moonlight? Philodendron Moonlight, it looks like $48 even. And this philodendron, I'm not sure what it's called. A little fill. This one's $38. And there's another one up there too. And they're rubber trees. Very nice. This is their clearance rack, which is 50% off. There's some Aglionema and some Hoya and monkey cups, a begonia, African violets. Take a look at this Deliciosa. It's got really big leaves and it has one unfurling right here. This one is $88. There's some little hanging plants here, some philodendrons. These are so cute. $8.99. You don't really see like four inch hanging plants often. So that's so cute. This place is so nice. Oh my goodness. So this is the bench of discounted orchids. And I already see this one that I want to take home with me. It looks like it might have been overwatered. But it's only $5, which is really good for this kind of orchid. They have so many cool ones. I'm so sad this is going out of business. Well, if you guys want cool orchids and you live around here, I don't know how many of you live around here, but this is really awesome. Oh, this one is so cool too. I'm, I'm just going to go home with a suitcase full of orchids. <laughs> Wow. I'm not really too crazy about just the regular Phalaenopsis, especially when we're at a, a specifically, a specific orchid house, you know? But there's a bunch of different kinds here. I think, I don't know if they're overwatered. These are so cool. I really want to buy some of these. Sorry if I'm filming quickly. I'm just very excited to look at these. And I'm not sure of their prices either. Hmm. Maybe you should get a really small one. These are my favorite kinds. I think these are half Pathopetalums because they have the coolest foliage ever. Like I don't really care that much about the flowers, which are also really cool, but these are just gorgeous. This is seven dollars. It looks like I'm not sure if the roots are all dead because paths do have brown roots. I don't know much about orchids, but I'll just tell you guys what I know. And then here, Peresta a lot of. I really like these bulbs, bulby. Oh, here's some Talansias. These are really long. I just realized it says on here like these are dendrobiums. These are really cool. Oh, yeah. I want one of these. 
dendrobiums on this table. These are their flowers. Those are so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then on this table are the Catlias. None of them really have flowers right now. There's some more Catlias over here. Catlia hybrids. If I did like a fuller tour on here, it would take a while. So I'm so sorry if I'm going so fast. And more hybrids. There's some hanging ones over here. These are Bulbo phylum. And I think they're called that because of their little, their little bulbs, which are so cute. This one looks very healthy. This is a Lassio Chillum. So cute. Wow, look at all these guys. Oh, I see. Like, what are these? Little leaves. See what I mean? Those are, I don't know if that's part of the plant or there's just little guys who got in there. So I'm gonna grab one of these. It's a Dendrobia, Dendrobium Mimiens because they look really cool and I want one. And I'm also thinking of getting one of these because I can see the little flowers on here and they're so cute. But I'm not really, I don't care that much about the flowers. I just think the leaves are really pretty on these. So I think I'm gonna actually grab this one. And I honestly can't really tell if they're healthy or not, which is a struggle for me. So I don't know, we'll see. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I personally really loved the nurseries in North Carolina. We were more in the Raleigh area and Fayetteville. So if you ever have the chance, I would highly recommend the nurseries that we went to. They were really nice. They're so big and spacious compared to nurseries here in LA. And there's, there's so few people, like it's very uncrowded and it's just a whole different experience. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!